Okay, Lee, it's finished 4-0 to Willin this afternoon. Um, definitely a tough result to take. What, what was your thoughts on the game? Yeah, like um, the game, we, we didn't deserve anything out of today's game, but I feel that we've, uh, like obviously we've got a bump in the road. We, um, we've had a good, good, good run in terms of the, the recent results. And also, even in defeat, the performances have been good. Today's the first time for a while that I felt the performance was was, was poor. It was poor all round. I think um, we we knew that this was going to be a tough place to come. They're, they're, they've had a great start to the season, and I can see why now. They've got a lot of liveliness in their team, energy in their team, and this is going to be a tough place for lots of teams to come. You only lose three points in a game, no matter what the scoreline is. I mean, you uh, we still got um, them to come to us, and we got a, like a time for today's defeat to make sure that we share the spoils with Willand. And then it's early in the season. Yeah, there's a lot lots of points that are um, going to be played for. We're disappointed with today. I mean, look, look personally got up with our performance but like I say we'll dust ourselves down and, and get ourselves ready for a home game next week. Absolutely and it just seemed like as, as the match grew on certain certain decisions didn't really fall our way what was I mean how do we sort of go from here because like you say it's a bit of a bump in the road but we've got a big game against Melksham next week and, and we have to sort of just take it on the chin and move on from it. Yeah there was there was a few um, uh, uh, frustrating um, decision making that I, I, uh, I don't wanna really want to look at or, or explain you know what I mean I don't uh, I don't uh, see some of the, the, the decisions that were made today by the officials as, as correct. But again, like, as, as we all get reminded, football is about opinions. Um, and like, uh, like last week, we had an outstanding referee. And it, OK, it's easy to say that in, in, in a win. And I don't want to criticise referee too much today because it, like, say he's had a bad day and so have we. So we didn't lose the game because of the official today, but um, it didn't help. Absolutely. And... As I mentioned, Lee Melksham on Saturday, um, as we know, that they've just had a bit of a, a switch up with their manager update. I mean, how what kind of beast can we expect from Melksham? With, you know, without a manager, is um, we've always had some good battles with Melksham over the years. So, what can we expect from Saturday's game? Yeah, you don't know which way that's going to go. All I know for a fact, Richard Fay's an outstanding manager, and if um, it, it, like I say so, he's not going to have like enhanced them uh, losing his services, but. Like you never know what it galvanised in behind. You know, I don't, I don't know what the goings on at that club. I know it's a good football club, and I know that they they try and like you know recruit and do whatever they're going to do in that managerial vacancy to make sure that they look to push on again. Because obviously they've had a good start to the season under Richard Fay, so they're not going to want that as a football club to go astray. But again, we're, our business is our own. Like we deal with what we can, what we're in control of. Like Bristol Manor Farm, we've been a United front for many a season, and that's galvanised. Look, that's you normally meant that we were always having a successful season and we're working hard to make sure that's the case again. Again, today, like after recent form, is this is a setback. Um, like I say, but again, there's only three points lost. We've got to go and make sure we win our next game and try and get on a run again. That's, that's, that's our goal from now.